Good day. I want to show you guys a trick using multiplication when the last numbers add up to 10 and the previous numbers are the same. So in other words, uh, 4 and 6 here in the first problem add up to 10. And in the 10s place, we have the same number. So you'll see that is common among all these problems that the last digits add up to 10 and the previous digits are the same number here in the tens place. Same here, the last digits add to 10 and the tens place, the numbers are the same digit. It's pretty simple. We're gonna use the formula by one more. It's similar to another video that I showed you, uh, squaring numbers that end in five. Basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna multiply the next number up from five, which is six. So the next number up from five is six. So for the left-hand side, we multiply five by six, that gives us 30. And then for the right-hand side, we simply multiply these two digits together. Four times six, in this case, is 24. So our answer is 3,024. Okay, once again, on the next problem, uh, we do the next number up from six, which is seven. So the left-hand side, we multiply six by seven to get 42. And the right-hand side, one times nine gives us nine. So our answer is 4,209. Next problem, the next number up from three is four. So for the left-hand side, we get three times four, which is 12. Right-hand side, two times eight is 16. For our answer, 1,216. Next problem, the next number up from one is two. So for the left-hand side, we get the number two. The right-hand side, 16. So our answer is 216. Okay, the next problem, 88 times 82. The next number up from eight is nine. So for the left-hand side, we get 72, and the right-hand side, 16. For our answer, 7,216. Okay, here we have the next number up from seven is eight. So for the left-hand side, we get seven times eight. That equals 56. And the right-hand side, three times seven equals 21. So our answer is 5,621. Okay, and the last problem in this set of problems, two, the next number up is three. So for the left-hand side, we get two times three, that equals six. Five times five is 25. We get our answer as 625. It's a pretty simple concept to use. The reason I like all these tricks I've been showing you is that you can kind of mix and match them to check your answers. Um, for example, this problem that I did up here, 12 times 18. If you look at it another way, 12 times 18, we could use my other formula here where you say this is plus 2, this is plus 8. And then you either add this way or this way to get 20. Right hand side, you multiply down to get 16, and you simply carry that one across to get 216. I wanted to show you this because this different way of doing it, because I feel that if you're going to do math problems, that a good way to double check your answers is by using a different method. So here we use one method, here we use another method, we come up with the same answer. This really helps if you're doing problems and you're not quite too sure if you get your answer right or wrong, you could go about using a second method to check your answers for better accuracy. Okay, here we're gonna use the same method for three digits, three by three multiplication, where you see that everything here is the same number and the last digits add up to 10. In this case, what we're gonna do is we're going to multiply by the next number up. So 20 times 21. For our left-hand side, 20 times 21 equals 420. And one times nine equals nine. 
In this case, we need two digits for the right hand side. So our answer equals 42,009. Okay, the next problem, 303 times 307. We're gonna multiply by the next number up from 30, which is 31. So for our left-hand side, we get 930. And for the right-hand side, we get 21 for our answer. Okay, next problem, 406 times 404. Multiply the next number up, which is 41. So for our left-hand side, we get 40 times 41. That is 1,640. And for the right-hand side, 6 times 4 is 24. So there is our answer. Okay, the next one, 123 times 127. The next number up from 12 is 13. So 12 times 13 for our left-hand side, we get 156. For our right-hand side, 3 times 7 equals 21. There is our answer. Next problem, 162 times 168. Next number up from 16 is 17. So 16 times 17, we get 272. For the right-hand side, 2 times 8 is 16 for our answer. Okay, last one, 208 times 202. Next number up from 20 is 21. So for the left-hand side, we get 420. And 8 times 2 is 16 for our answer. Okay, I hope you guys can use these. It's a really quick way to find your answers, uh, kind of a math shortcut. Um, what I suggest you do is just write out your own problems and solve them, see if these, these techniques work for you. If you like these kind of videos, please press the like button and write a comment below. Thank you.